And available on Redbox is your next. Let's bring in our special guest, Aaron Olette, to talk about your next. Go ahead, Aaron. The sister's boyfriend got shot in the head with a crossbow. And that's how it starts. It's just like immediately someone dies. And they have a girl run out to try and get help at full speed and they like open the door and it just cuts her throat instantly and they drag her back in. And, and there's a couple creative kills. Like she stabs the blender into his head and then plugs it in. Yeah, because you know, I, I saw the trailer for it and um, I'm not a huge fan of home invasion horror. I kind of, I'm more of a supernatural horror fan. Funny Games comes to mind. And I, 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 is it anything like that? Because that one I had a hard time with. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you're saying. I mean, it's like, like I mean, pretty much when it came to Funny Games, it's uh, that was actually like a really disturbing horror movie. I just felt like the filmmaker was like attacking me and it was, uh, get off me, you fucking asshole. This is another reason why I think this sets it apart. Um, is that there is hope because the main character, the heroine, um, she grew up in a survival camp. I grew up in a survivalist compound. The direction was great, the acting was great, the writing was fantastic. So I'm gonna have to give your next four out of five home invaders. Yeah.